and the second session will be our field day. Okay, so the course will be the problems and discussion. Problems and discussion on fixed point theory in probabilistic metric spaces and fuzzy metric spaces by Professor Doroy Mahesh. And uh, this will be till 11:30, uh, but this is little bit late, so maybe it depends on him. Actually, he asked actually at that time two hours time. But anyway, let us see how much time or how much time you can also spare. You can sit comfortably. So after this, after taking your tea, you please rush to the guest house for your lunch and lunch will be ready at 12.30 right so you go for lunch at 12.30 and after 12.30 maybe someone something around half an hour or 40 minutes you finish your lunch every one of you don't disperse from there because who left they are left we are not going to count the hands we are simply will uh, take care of the people available in the guest house premises only. The bus will be arriving around 1 o'clock and possibly it may leave 1.15 because this is around as 12, 12.30 the lunch is ready. Okay, so the bus will go and the bus remains with you here Kuta Ghat. Uh, um, Uma, you are also going? She is not going, she will be here. Okay, my faculty Dr. Sandeep Singh will be here, Dr. Prasad is also here, this is uh, also here and uh, Professor okay, Binayak and Professor Dorel is also with you. Okay, I have some other works here, so I may not come because lot of works to be done and tomorrow, tomorrow is the validity, so for tomorrow's validity what I am planning is right now actually you have to arrive here 10 o'clock tomorrow and be on time today also because of you people this half an hour delay because of you but 10 o'clock tomorrow so you please come before 10 by 9.50 you should be here 9.50, 9.55 the class should start at 10 sharp so 10 to 11.30 will be the talk by Professor Dore, okay, uh, 11.50 or even little bit uh, more, okay, and uh, we are, what we are planning is, if possible, then I will talk to my Vice Chancellor that at what time my Vice Chancellor is free. So there will be, as per this schedule, it is 1.30 will be the last class. So if you can cooperate, if you come little bit earlier, then what my plan is, we can finish off everything by 11.30. We go directly to the venue for validatory function and after validatory we come back for the lunch and after lunch we can disperse. This can be done. Tomorrow also a few people are not available so we can have the group photograph also tomorrow. right? So this is what my plan is. Uh, let us uh, see what happened. Otherwise as per plan this is uh, uh, 1.30 is uh, class and then 3 o'clock is the validity as usual ok so so I may request Professor Dore to start his uh, discussion on uh, problems and problems ok on uh, problems with metric species and problems Good time Thus the definition the definition of the pseudometric Rn you have this also. You can use both. You can use this also. No, I don't. No need. Okay. Then you don't need this. This you don't want. No, uh, maybe uh, the uh, final part. I I will show some okay. papers. But uh, anyway, I, I, anything better to, to explain. Okay. Let X F T a PM space. Just uh, I uh, let's rec recall what this means. Okay, this means that uh, 
f is a mapping from x times x to d plus, having uh, some properties, but the, the, import, the most important one is the PM3, the triangle inequality, which is expressed by this relation. This is from X. Okay. And uh, a T norm of Hajish type. So, T is of Hajish type. If the family of it iterates, the family ten, Tn of it iterates, it's Eki continues at one. This means that pro, for every positive epsilon, there is delta in zero one. This uh, is sat z uh, uh, t uh, for every x greater than one minus delta t n of of x is greater than one minus e epsilon for every n. This is a definition of a t norm of Hajish type. Okay. And uh, if uh, uh, T is continuous, then uh, this is equ equivalent with the existence of a strictly increasing sequence in zero one converging to one, converging to one. Of idempotence. This, if T is continue is a continuous uh, T norm of Hajish type, then there is a strictly increasing sequence of reals in zero one, start converging to one at such that T. Uh, such that Bn is idempotent for, for, uh, for T, that, that, uh, that is T of Bn, Bn equals Bn. This is... Uh, and now, uh, is it clear? This is a PM3, the triangle inequality, and the, the definition of a T norm of Hajish type and this characterization in the case of continuous T norms of Hajish type. Yes? And now let's, let us recall the definition uh, of the pseudomet of the family of pseudometric Pseudometrics R Rn. If you f xf t is a PM space and <coughs> continuous t, and let Bn be uh, be like here. This is a strictly increasing sequence of idempotents uh, converging to one. And you, for every n, you define you de define the mapping x uh, R n. By the for, for, formula with, by definition, infimum T is the property F. Uh, 
This is the definition of, of the Rn. And uh, you, uh, we proved that uh, this is a pseudometric. And here, here you, uh, you can see that uh, uh, you put here the closed bracket. That means that R, Rn uh, may be inf inf infinity. Why? Why? Because here is, is an infimum. And uh, it, uh, would, it could be possible that this set, this, let denote this, this set, be, uh, be the, the, uh, the, the empty set. Because uh, uh, no one can guarantee can, can guarantee us that there is some t such that f x y of t is greater than b n for for this for, for this n and uh, infimum of empty set is infinity. Is this okay? The, the, is that, that's why. We here put uh, right uh, wrote in, in this in this manner. Okay. <coughs> now let's uh, and now let's recall another important fact about R R R N is. Uh, Generalized because K uh, may uh, take the value of t infinity. Can someone tell me what pseudometric uh, does mean? The definition of of, of, a, of a pseudometric. This is tutorial. Okay. Pseudometric satisfies all the, the axioms of, 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 of a metric ex, except possible possible x, x, um, U of x, y is equal to zero if and only if x is equal to y. Except possi possibly possible the, the separation of ax axiom. Okay? The, this you know I okay, I am convinced I you know. And uh, you know if if R x one is is less th than epsilon, then f x y is greater than b n. And if f Then Rn just can someone reprove this this implication, please? Who oh. want? Who? Oh. Someone, please, to if so, someone can can prove this implication. Uh, if imum means greater, greatest. Okay, you know. Please now. Prove this this implication. Greatest lower bound.
what this means. First of all, of all this is a this is a lower bound. Lower bound meaning lower bound bound mean, meaning This is a lower bound. What means this is a, the greatest, the greatest lower bound. Any number greater than R n is not a lower, uh, a lower bound. This means for every, let's say, or, or this is the greatest. Is not a, la uh, a lower bound. What does it mean? For a every a greater than, than R n, what? How can you write that that uh, uh, a is not a lower bound? Lower bound this mean uh, means the, and uh, oh, Han, uh, can you write that uh, how uh, <coughs> you write, write that this uh, this one is not a lower bound. There is some t in M which is greater that. This, this means that uh, this is T1. Okay, T1 is greater than that. This this uh, 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 greater I is, is no uh, not uh, not a extra T T1. This is not a lower bound. Okay. Uh, and now, please uh, uh, let let us prove uh, this implication. R n means that epsilon is not uh, is not a lower bound because uh, uh, because it is uh, greater than uh, than R. Rn and Rn is the uh, it, it, okay, and this means that there is T1 in M such that this is this is this is M. Yeah. This is this is M. This is this is M. Okay, this is M. Here, say is a is a lower bound. Okay, lower bound, and this is the greatest lower bound. Okay, uh, <coughs> the greatest lower bound. This means that. You have some something here. There's, there's not will not 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 be. It is not uh, uh, this one. Is not not uh, lower bound because the gr the greatest lower bound is this one. This is epsilon and this is R n. Okay. This means that there is T one such that T one okay. 
If there is T1 in M, there are N my uh, Okay. And T1 is in M. This means F xi of T1 is greater than Vn. And then epsilon is great. Fx1 of epsilon is greater than Bn because Fxy being a distribution function is non decreasing. Okay? This one from Rn Xy less than epsilon, you obtain this inequality. Okay. Is it clear or not? Yes. It's a definition of the this is the definition of of the if you This is T1, I think. Yes, this is T1. Okay. <coughs> and the second implication, uh, the second implication, can be proved similarly. May I clean the tables or not? Not the board? May, <coughs> May I? Yes. And now, let us recall what's a single, single contraction. Uh, 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 just uh, another fact of about the uh, Rn. Let us prove that uh, if uh, uh, f x y is in d plus, f x y in, in d plus, meaning that uh, is one. Okay. Then. There is T1 such that T1 uh, positive and real. <coughs> 